I wanted to tell you guys that I think James Harrison gave me CTE. James Harrison had a legal helmet for over 20 years in the NFL, and he hit me one time. And ever since he hit me, I've been super aggressive. So blame James Harrison for my CTE. Antonio Brown believes he has identified the roots of his super aggressive behavior. The free agent Whiteout spoke on Instagram Live on Friday and claimed that a hit from longtime former Steelers linebacker James Harrison gave him brain trauma. CTE stands for Chronic Traumatic Encephalopathy. I hope I said that shit right. And a number of researchers have included that it has been caused by concussions sustained while playing football. The Harrison claim from Antonio Brown was curious because they were mostly teammates on the Pittsburgh Steelers. James Harrison did play for the Bengals in 2013 in between tournaments with the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's unclear if Antonio Brown is alleging that he took a vicious hit from James Harrison in practice or perhaps the year James Harrison played in Cincinnati. The most memorable vicious helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit that Antonio Brown absorbed in his NFL career came from Bengals linebacker Bontez Burfitt in a 2016 playoff game. The two later became brief teammates on the Raiders. After catching wind of the accusation, James Harrison shared a message on Twitter. While he didn't specifically provide his thoughts, you could tell he was surprised. Antonio Brown has faced a number of allegations of aggressive behavior. In December, he faced domestic violence charges, but the charges were later dropped. In 2018, he faced a lawsuit for throwing furniture off a balcony in Florida, nearly hitting a 22-month-old child. What the fuck? He later settled the suit. He also settled a sexual assault lawsuit that had been brought by a former trainer in 2019. In 2020, he was accused of attacking a mover. Last year, a jury awarded the driver $1.2 million in damages. Antonio Brown's last NFL appearance came for the Bucks in the 2021-2022 season, where he ended up quitting the team shirtless during the first half of a late season game against the Jets.